additional capacity to the energy mix as contained in the IRP 2019 for the period up to 2030 are as follows. Uh, in the plan is 1,500 megawatt of generation from coal, 2,500 megawatts from hydro, uh, 6,000 megawatt from uh, PV, 14,400 megawatts from wind, 2,088 megawatts from storage, and 3,000 megawatt from gas. That is what is in the plan. Once the, the, the IRP is gazetted as it is going to be done today, then other investors will come to the fore and we will try to expand as fast as we can. It must be noted that while the cold installed capacity will be lower than the current installed base, it will remain the dominant energy supply, contributing 59% of the energy volumes required to meet the demand. Nuclear will contribute 5%, uh, hydro 8, PV 6, wind 18, gas and storage 2. In recognition of the growing role of the distributed gener generation and generation for own use, the IRP makes provision for distributed generation. This provision is meant to do away with the need for material deviation for licensing generation of own use for plants above one megawatt. This, we believe, will unlock investment in small energy projects from biomass, biogas, landfill, and uh, cogeneration. The ARP recognizes challenges uh, with s compliant performance. There is a, an immediate supply and demand gap that needs to be addressed. The current load shedding is testimony to this. We urgently need to secure additional capacity in order to increase the reserve margins. Therefore, I would imagine that having now uh, gazetted the ARP, investors will come to the fore in their options, they must come and invest.